And then next up, we have House File 4500 uh, by Chair Clardy. Once you get settled, you can go ahead and move 4500 before the committee with the intention of re referring this bill to higher ed. So, members, we will be having a vote. Um, this bill is going to higher ed for the higher ed provisions that are in it. They combine the bills this year. In the past, we've had TOCAT kind of moving separately, but it's a smaller, smaller ask, so they wanted to have a bill together. And we'll just go ahead and push another chair up so that we can have both the testifiers ready to go. Go ahead, uh, Representative Clardy, move House File 4500 before us. So moved. Go ahead with your testimony. Okay, great. Um, as a teacher for 28 years, I can assure you this bill has a special importance to me, uh, not only being a teacher of color, but having a daughter that entered the school system and uh, for me, it was a clear need. So it's not just the BIPOC community that benefits from having teachers of color, but it's like all the communities. So that's why I'm uh, here to support and author this bill. This bill is not um, brand new. It is a new version. So this is the eighth legislative session that it's been presented in. And it's been authored by the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. So. Um, we made lots of gains last year um, as far as like some historic investments. And in addition, uh, the policy provisions and the omnibus bill um, helped ensure that there are solid returns on the investments. So the two main purposes of this bill is closing the opportunity gaps as far as like um, as far as recruiting and preparing um, teachers and employing them and retaining them in the system and um, also increasing investments in three impactful programs, um, which would be one-time um, funding. And it would also meet the official state goal stated in 120B.117. Um, by increasing teachers of color by 2% a year, so that in 2040, we will have the teaching uh, population look very um, diverse and look like our students in the system. So there are three, strate three strategic um, one-time investments that are going on. The first one is aspiring teachers of color. And this bill um, appropriates money from both um, education finance and, edu and higher education. Thus, we are referring this bill to them later. So um, it would be for 10 million. Um, five would be from each um, committee. And uh, it serves the needs of E12 and higher education. It also establishes um, the needed scholarship program in, that's in statute with some minor edits on the language um, from 2023 for higher education to increase the teachers of color. And then also, um, like right now, there's about 2,000 BIPOC teacher candidates that are enrolled in preparation programs. So this proposed investment from our committee um, would provide about 500 annual um, scholarship up to $10,000 as an investment um, in aspiring BIPOC teachers. The second one is the teacher men mentorship and retention grants. And this bill, um, seeks in addition one-time appropriation of $5 million for um, fiscal year 2025, and $9 million um, from, would be requested from 47 applicants. And then finally, um, a collabor the collaborative, collaborative Urban Greater Minnesota Educator Grant, COGMAT. And I should know that one because I was a Q teacher myself. Um, so this bill seeks um, an additional one-time appropriation um, of one million for fiscal year 25. So, and I, I have some testifiers here, Chair. Thank you, we'll go to the testifiers. Um, uh, Quantel Crawford, why don't you go ahead and state your name for the record and proceed. Good morning, Chairman and members. Thank you for coming to hear us out today. My name is Quantel Crawford. And I am a teacher candidate at the University of St. Thomas's graduate level suitor program, which is paired with St. Paul Public Schools. Uh, this means I take classes full time as well as work full time as a special education teacher in St. Paul 
uh, St. Paul's Public School Hazel Park Preparatory Academy over on the east side of St. Paul. Uh, growing up, I was fortunate enough to have parents who valued contributing to their community by detailing or um, dedicating their life's work toward advocating for the well-being of their neighbors, friends, and family. As a social worker uh, for the Ramsey County, my mother taught me the value of helping others navigate complex social systems in order to advocate for themselves and their needs in life. As the president of the North Area Football Association, I saw my dad's leadership, love, and creativity change how 10 plus years of hundreds of St. Paul public or St. Paul youth think of themselves, adding value to the important societal concepts such as goal setting, teamwork, and working hard in order to accomplish your goals. Uh, all I've ever wanted to do in my life was make my parents proud. Uh, now, due to the blessing that has come in the form of the Aspiring Teachers of Color Scholarship, I'm able to overcome the staggering financial difficulties previously preventing me from pursu uh, pursuing my dreams. Namely, my dream of making my parents proud by taking the torch they lit and keeping the flame alive, acting as a leader in my St. Paul community. This is something I would not have been able to afford if it weren't for the scholarship's financial contribution. In fact, this is not my first attempt at getting my teaching license. During my undergraduate experience, I was a double major in the fields of sociology and education. However, I was forced to drop my education major due to the final student teaching experiences requirement to teach for an entire semester full time with no financial compensation. Uh, I could not afford this and I was already working full time to pay for my schooling. Therefore, I implore you to please support the investments proposed in this bill to increase teachers of color. Thank you. Thank you. And Lakita Bruce, um, please take your name for the record and proceed. Good morning, um, Madam Chair and members. My name is Lakita Bice, um, and I am a teacher candidate at Metro State University for uh, K through 12 special education licensure. I also work as a English teacher on a tier one license currently at St. Paul City School, which is a charter school located two minutes from where we are. I am proud to say that in my current role as an 11th and 12th grade English teacher, many of my students have said, Ms. Lakita, you are my first black teacher. That made my heart warm, but also a bit saddened because children deserve the right to see a representation of themselves um, in the teachers that educate them. My hopes is that I encourage them and they are able to see that being a teacher of color is possible. I am also a mother of five wonderful children, and as a parent, I wanted to serve as a role model to my children. I knew the key to my family's success would be me graduating from college with my first degree, but now here I am heading going towards, grad I'm in graduate school to earn my tier three teaching licensure. Now college looks different at 30 plus years old <laughs> with children. It is challenging working a full-time job, paying bills, all while trying to attain a higher education goal. The academic rigor of college and grad school was not the part I was afraid of. It was the cost. Without scholarships and grants, I would not be uh, able to attain my associate degree that I got from St. Paul College, nor my bachelor's degree in human services that I attained from Metro State University. This semester, I appreciate being awarded scholarships for teacher candidates of color because it helps me pay for tuition and books, it would be amazing to also receive the Aspiring Teachers of Color Scholarship in the future with up to $10,000 per year to help towards paying the full cost of attendance as a graduate student and reduce my loan debt. In my school, I see a lot, a lot of future educators of color, but we need the investments proposed in this bill to support us becoming well prepared with tier three licensure. Most of them won't be able to do it without the investment proposed in this bill. Please support the additional funding proposed for the Aspiring Teachers of Color Scholarship Program and other grant programs. Thank you. And I am so sorry for mispronouncing your name. No. And thank you very much both for wanting to go into the teaching <laughs> profession. Um, with that, members, just a reminder, we're going to be voting on this bill to move it to higher ed so they can take a look at it. We still don't have targets, so we'll still retain the education portion in our in our committee to look at once we get those targets. So with that, members, are there questions from the table? 
Uh, Representative Edelson. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, uh, Representative, for bringing this bill. Uh, I have to tell you, it's so important. It is so important, and I thank you for coming with a lived experience. I have my master's in social work, and we had we were required to do the same thing work full time for free. And I can tell you there were times when I did not know what I was gonna eat at night and how I was gonna pay my rent. So I cannot thank you enough for bringing this. It is so important. And so um, I'm gonna sign on as the co-author. Thank you. And then I saw read, lead Krisha, but before I go to lead Krisha, so you can wrap up, is there anybody else? that had any questions. Looking, looking, all right, lead Krisha. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Representative Clardy, for all your work on this. Uh, no reason to oppose this. Good luck in higher ed, and, and I hope you can have positive conversations. Thank you. And with that, uh, Representative Clardy, final word. Just thank you for looking uh, forward to the future of children in Minnesota. Thank you so much, and with that, members, we will go to one of our first few, uh, maybe we had one before. We don't, no, I said we've had, a, yes, we've had a vote before. I was gonna say it was our first vote, but it's not. Right. Um, so uh, with that, uh, Representative Clardy renews her motion that House File 4500 be re-referred to the Higher Education oh. Committee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. House File 4500 is re-referred to the Higher Education Committee. <laughs>